Okay, so here we have my new Galaxy Watch 4. So this is to replace my other Galaxy Watch, which I've had for some time. Now I went for the classic. This is the 40 millimeter one, I believe. So it's probably gonna need charging. First impressions, there's not much in the box. Is that everything? All right, let's have a look. Where's all the bits and bats? So this is going to be the charger. Ah. ah, that's a bit of a shame. You now the original charger that I had with my other Galaxy Watch, you could just plug in anything, but this has to go like this. So I'm guessing it's magnetic. Let's see if there's any charge in the watch, but I'll have to set it up. I'll go into it more once I've worn it for some time, but first impressions so far, I do like it. I'm not sure about the white strap though. I think I'll definitely have to change that, but I could change it. It's a nice, actually it's a really nice soft. So I need to set it up to English, continue, restart. Okay, so I'm gonna set this up, link it to my phone now, the strap, the other time I bought, they gave you two straps. One was a longer strap and one was a shorter strap. This is cheaping out a bit. Uh, they've only given one strap, but I do like the actual watch itself. I am, um, yeah, that's nice. So let's get this set up. Now connecting this to my phone was a real problem. It actually failed three times while it was trying to connect. I don't know what the problem was, but it, it just, wouldn't connect. Um, it, it started to connect, but then it kept dropping. I had to start all over again. And then finally on the fourth uh, time it connected. Uh, but I I think one of the reasons is, is I'm not using a Samsung phone. This watch really is designed for a Samsung phone, which I think is a real shame because uh, if you don't have a Samsung phone, you can't use all of the features that, that come with it. Uh, which I'll go into later. Now, this is to replace my Galaxy Frontier, which I've had for four years now. Uh, and I've really enjoyed wearing this watch. It's very, very helpful. Um, I mainly use it for when I'm traveling, but uh, I tend to wear this a lot more, even when, uh, as an everyday watch, it's just an, an ideal watch. It's waterproof, it, it's very tough. Uh, but um, being four years old now, the um, built-in, I think, redundancy is starting to kick in. The battery now will uh, last me n not really to the end of the day. Um, usually by mid-afternoon, the battery is about to die. If you look at the battery at the moment, it says 84%, and that is now, what, just over 30 minutes since I took it off the charger. So the battery's fading. The GPS is not uh, working as well. Um, it's constantly dropping from my phone, so it was time for uh, an upgrade. Now, normally when I uh, buy a new watch or a new computer or camera and so on, I tend to try and miss a generation because I feel it, it gives it more time to um, they have more upgrades. So this is the fourth generation, so I've sort of missed the third one. And uh, there are some major upgrades. Uh, one of the biggest upgrades really for this watch is the fact that it uses um, Google's OS system instead of the, the Tizen um, from, uh, from uh, Samsung. Now, with the Google OS, you can use the App Store, uh, the Google App Store, which sounds great. You'd, you'd sort of think, that's fantastic. I can then start using all of the apps that are on my phone. I can use them on my watch. Unfortunately, you can't. Well, not yet anyway. You're very limited to the amount of apps which are available for your watch. They're, they're making a big deal about the fact you can use Spotify on your watch. And that's for me it's not such a big deal um it's the ver i think th with the watch being so new there's not that many applications out there not many apps and there's not many people have started making apps for this watch yet but i think give it between six months and a year there'll be a lot more apps available that you can download uh onto the the watch and it, it just make it, it would make it a lot better uh there's nothing that extra that this watch can do that i couldn't do with my frontier uh, this has got Google Maps, which is great. The, this one didn't have Google Maps. I had to use um, Here Maps on this one. But 
Here Maps was just as good. Um, I didn't. You had to download an extra app on your phone for that, but this one you don't have to. Uh, this one is simply straight on your watch. You can use you can use it for um, location. You can use it for your GPS wherever you you want to travel to, which I find really helpful, especially when I'm traveling. In terms of faces uh, or dials, there's a there's a lot already pre-built in this. Now they are making a big fuss about the the new faces, which are animated. So you can see there. They have this these animations which which come up. Um, you can uh, you can even have your own background. You can you can put a picture on here if you want. Um, I for me the these are just gimmicks. Uh, I don't really care about these things. Um, you'll have ones which are where are they? Um, you can you can customize them. Um, this one you can change the color of the hands. Uh, I think that's a dog, but you can have a rabbit and so on and all sorts of other things. But uh, I tend to just stick to the very basic -y ones. Uh, this one for me is the, well, not the ideal one, but the, the best one so far that's pre-built. Now, the other problem is, is that there's not many faces for this watch. This, the Frontier, there are absolutely thousands of faces you can download and use on this. Uh, this is the one I use for this one all the time, which I found an ideal, almost ideal one. So it's got uh, what I need to see. Um, this one is is pretty good. It's got everything I need. I've got uh, a quick for the uh, for the stopwatch, and then I've got the timer there. I've got my heart rate there. I've got the battery there, temperature, date, and then second time zone. For me, that's really all I need. I don't need to know my steps. I don't need to know any other extra things. Um, when I get a notification, I get a little uh, red dot there, which tells me I've got notifications when I get an email, a text message, or anything else, phone call. Um, so that's that's ideal. The rest of the apps which are pre-built on this, you've got your, your training um, apps. So you've got your walking, running, cycling, which is straight there. But then you can go into it and go into your other workouts. So you can do running coach, swimming outdoors, hiking, machine weight, sex size bike. Now, I've never used these, even on my Frontier I've got these. It's basically the same thing as that. So let's say you're gonna use your walking, and then away you go. So it will give you your, your duration, your distance, how many steps you've done, your heart rate, and then if you scroll to the next one, you've got your calories, your average speed, uh, your speed, uh, that you're traveling at, at that time then again your heart rate at the bottom and then this is your if you just want to have your heart rate so if you want to keep it in a certain uh, heart rate zone um it's it's good if you if you want to use it for for your training it gives you a basic um uh outlook on, on your training but it's not something that that really i care about um in terms of fit and finish it's a big improvement in fit and finish this one is very plasticky. The strap on this is really nice. Now, normally I would change the strap, uh, but it's a really nice, comfortable strap. So I've decided to keep it on this. I'm a sh it's a shame that it didn't come with the option of black. I'm sure you can buy the black one, but they'll probably charge you something ridiculous. So the other apps which are in the watch. Now, this one here sets your, or checks your body fat uh, index. Now, with this one, it really is a bit of hit and miss. Uh, I've, ch I've used this when it, when I first got it, I checked everything out. So uh, to wanted to make sure that everything was working properly. So what you got to do is you got to put your two fingers there and it should start checking your body fat index. Now this, it's not very accurate. Uh, when I'm checking first time, it said I was 16%. And the other problem is it keeps doing this. It keeps stopping. And so you've got to either wet your fingers to make sure you, uh, you've got enough moisture there. So the first time I checked it, it said I was 16%. Then I checked it again, it said I was 18%. You see, there you go. I haven't really moved my hand, but it's still saying that it can't read it. This is the reason why I wouldn't use this all the time, because it's just so much of a faff. Uh, and then it said I was 13%. And then it said, um, at the moment, it says, I am, um, see, there you go, see. It says um, I'm 18.6%. 18, 18 
Um, and if you saw earlier when um, I had the watch just before I started it, it's I think it said it was 20.2% or something. So now it says I'm 18.6%. Now I know this can vary between the time of day you use it, but when I first did it, I was doing it within minutes of each other. Uh, so it's not very accurate. Uh, but if you just use it as a guide, it's, it's, it's fine. But I would say get a proper scale, uh, which will check your body fat index properly. So this one, it tells you your body water, um, your BMI, body fat, body mass, uh, fat mass, skeleton muscle. Obviously, you, the weight you just put in manually yourself. Um, so the two buttons on the, on the side. So if you, the top one is to go back to the, the main so that will take you back here. I find this a real gimmicky thing. I don't understand why you want to check your sleep patterns because you wake up in the morning if you feel terrible. That usually means you've had a bad night's sleep. You don't need your watch to tell you you've had a bad night's sleep. And if you feel fine in the morning, again, you know, you don't need your watch to tell you. So a very gimmicky thing. You can look at where it says you've had a deep sleep or you're in your REM or if you've light or when you've woken up. Now this is the blood pressure. Now blood pressure and ECG I can't use because I don't have a Samsung phone. These you need to download uh, an app and they're not available at the Google store, which I find very strange considering they're making a big fuss that this is using the Google um, OS now. So why why is it not available there? Uh, you have to actually go to the Samsung store to download this app, but for my phone, I can't download it. Now I can download it if I use third party apps to, to, to go around and I don't really want to do that. I don't really care. The blood, I don't. The blood pressure, for me, I would expect it not to be as accurate. Just like the the body mass fat index, so I don't really care. I don't need to check my blood pressure. I don't have high blood pressure. I don't have low blood pressure. But if you need something to check, I think most people, my family member, um, they have high blood pressure. They have a proper machine to check their blood pressure. I wouldn't rely on this. Um, so, it's not really something I would rely on too heavily. Uh, this is your heart rate, so you can check your heart rate simply by just pressing that. Stay still. Uh, again, how accurate these are, they're not as accurate as a proper heart rate monitor on your chest when you're training. Again, I find these very gimmicky. I don't, I don't really feel the need to check my heart rate when I'm sat doing nothing. This is a stress level. You can check your stress now. I'm currently, I've always been in the green, so clearly I'm not very stressed. Um, so it's constantly preparing, but there we go. It's starting now. I was going to stop it, but I'll let it run through. How it checks your stress level, I have no idea. I think it's just guessing more than anything else. You can you can be stressed and have a whole, whole low heart rate, but you could be stressed about other things. So you couldn't stress. Oh, you see, I'm, you see, yeah. Now this one is the LT version. Uh, I got the LT version, so I wouldn't need to use it with my phone. Unfortunately, my network doesn't support LT, so it's a bit pointless. Uh, I may as well just got the Bluetooth version, which because I'm just using it as a Bluetooth standalone. So I was hoping I could just leave my phone at home where I don't need to, and I can make phone calls and so on. Phone call wise, it's a very tinny sound on this it's very bad the frontier was much better it's not very good i i don't like you making phone calls on this the watch is the 42 mil version now i think it comes in the 44 millimeter as well now compare that to the frontier which is i believe this one is 46 millimeters i was a bit hesitant about getting the 42 mil because i thought possibly that's going to be a bit too small but uh it's fine i'm glad i got the 42 it worked out well for me that fits my wrist a lot better if you want to make a phone call, you simply swipe up and then you've got your icon there to make a phone call. So very simple to use. Again, with it being 42 mil, I was a bit worried that it may be too small for my fingers, but all your contacts are here as well. So uh, you click there and it will open up your contacts. So uh, anybody in your contact list is all going to be here as well. So I, th I find it really useful. That's the reason I got it. Now, I know a lot of my subscribers hate uh, smartwatches. They like their uh, old-fashioned analog watches. At the moment, these are going for about £380, I think they are. That's the LT version. The Bluetooth version is cheaper. They've got an offer on at the moment. If you buy it, you get a £75 uh, Google gift card. Anyone who wants to buy it, I do recommend it, but my other recommendation would be to wait. I would give it six months, maybe a bit longer, wait for some more apps to kick in, 
there'll be a lot more to come that you might find useful and also the price will drop.